Good morning on this beautiful morning in Brisbane. Anyway, wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Hey, today's topic, gender politics versus God's creation. Genesis chapter 1, verses 27 and 28. Speak about how God made man in his own image. And male and female, he created them. And then they had a job to do, to look after the earth and tend it and develop culture and bring forth families. It's kind of interesting today. We see this big harvest of an idea of equality of men and women. It's like a gender card. Actually, now uh, the laws are being passed, of course. I'm not going to get into too much politics, but you can't, you know, politics is enacted morality, so you can't totally avoid it when you're thinking from a Christian perspective. But laws are being passed where you have to employ so many men and women, like so many coloreds and, and this and that, rather than based on um, expertise and uh, the ability of the person it's based on your gender. So actually it's kind of interesting, this gender card has been created by our politicians, not by God. I want to talk to that issue a little bit today because I don't think we're ever really happy unless we're living according to the design that God has for us. So if he's designed you to be a man, you're going to enjoy being that, and you're probably going to enjoy women because God put a desire from men to women and women to men unless you've caught up in this gay scene in which case that's another story we've talked about and in that difference and I'm glad there are differences so God never made them different in terms of equality or different in terms of uh, ability he just gave them different things to do functionally we are different I can't have babies I don't want to have babies, but my wife loves having babies, and that's the joy of a woman. And I don't mind if a woman, if my wife could go out and earn $200,000, I'd be happy to stay home and watch the kids and let her do it. So we're not talking about equality of person, we're just talking about different functions. And once you try and confuse those and make men, women, and so, you know, I, I realize there's been things done in history. So I'm not, you know, opposed to there being things done to put the rights wrong. The problem is, instead of putting rights wrong in our society, we've made it a thing of vengeance. Justice is when you put something right. But vengeance is when you try and destroy something or bring incredible punishment. And that has become what's happening today because we've lost God in the equation. God designed us. Let's live according to that design. Have a great day. God bless you.